Welcome students, this question has been taken from NCRT of standard 11 from the topic probabilities. Here question is, three coins are tossed once. Find the probability of getting, there are nine parts of this question, three heads, two heads, like this, okay? Two heads, at least two heads, at most two heads, like this. So we'll do one by one. Question is not difficult, this is very simple. So here we will use the formula probability of any event PE is equal to NE divided by NS, where NE means number of elements in E. What is E? This is event, favorable event. And NS means number of elements in sample space okay what is sample space sample space is a set is a collection of all the possible outcomes so what is sample space here let us find out three points are tossed together simultaneously so there may be possibility that all the three outcomes are tails maybe one tail and two heads maybe two tails and one head maybe all the three heads so there are different options so let us note down one by one to see that what is the value of ns what is the total number of elements in sample space so when all the three outcomes are tails then this will be t t t okay then if one outcome is tail and rest are heads then it will be p h h this is t in first point head in second point head in third point it will be like this also h t h means head in first point T in second coin and again head in third coin. Okay, and uh, maybe H H T. These are the options when there is only one T and two elements. And if there are two T's, then it will be T T H. Sorry, this will be H. Then T, H, T. Then H, T, T. Okay? So, this is the option when all the outcomes are T. Here one T. Here two T's. Okay? And finally, when all the outcomes are head that will be h h h okay so total number of possible outcomes is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so ns is equal to therefore here ns is equal to 8 correct now let us see these questions one by one first question three heads we will use the same formula n e is equal to sorry we we'll use pe is equal to ne divided by ns so ne means number of uh, desirable outcomes what is the desirable outcomes three heads so we have only one element this one with three heads so ne is equal to one and ns will be and s will be always equal 8 so, so this is the answer of first part similarly for the second part probability of event formula will remain same in e by n s two heads so you see two heads we have here three elements one two three these three elements are having two heads so n e will be three and ns will be 8 this is the answer of second part third part at least two heads 
at least two heads means minimum two heads may be more than two also so minimum two heads one two three and more than two this one so three and one four so here n e will be n e will be four by eight so this is equal to one by two this is the answer of third part now fourth part at most two heads at most two heads means maximum two heads so either no head or one head or two heads all the possibilities are there so no head means one this one okay understood at most two heads so maybe two heads maybe one head or maybe no head so this is element for no head one and these are the elements for two heads three so three plus one four and with one head three four plus three seven so here this probability of this event will be seven by eight fifth part no head only one option is here without head no head so in this case probability of event will be 1 by 8 ne by ns so ne is equal to this element only 1 and 8 that is ns sample space that is s okay this is ns sixth part of this question three tails again there is only one option this element is having three tails no any other element is having three tails so again this will be 1 by 8 so in this case also probability of this event is equal to 1 by 8 ne is 1 this element and ns is 8 number of elements in sample space 8 so this is 1 by 8 okay and next part 7 exactly two tails so these are three elements having exactly two tails so in this case probability will be 3 by 8 this is the answer of seventh part now eighth one eighth part no tail so only this element sorry this element is having three tails one tail two tails so with this condition no tail we have only this element all are heads no tail so in this case probability will be again same formula n e by n s this is equal to 1 by 8 this is the answer and last ninth what is the condition at most two tails means maximum two tails so there is possibility of less than two tails also okay so maybe zero tail maybe one tails maybe two tails okay so zero tail means this element one tail means these elements and two tails means these elements condition is at most two tails so in this case n e will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so in this case probability of event n e is 7 and n s is 8 so answer will be 7 by 8 very simple question so uh, just for sake of clarity of the concept this question is very important because there are several types of questions included in one question so give proper focus here so that we can understand other questions also very easily so thank you very much for watching this video is you all the best